Hey there guys, Cobra Assassin here. So it looks like I'm stuck in a little room here. These bridges look like they might break at any second. Let me try and test this. Oh god, I'm gonna die. What happened there? Well, I guess I'll just have to try again. Maybe I should go a little slower. Hmm. Looks like that worked. Freedom, yay! Okay guys, so that was uh, falling floors or bridge or whatever. So how this works is um, I have a clock here that just sets a res it's a pretty fast clock here with the res uh, set block. So this um, uses something that um, it's scoreboard. Um, I made a uh, an objective called walk. So, um, so uh, what you can do for your world is you have to do scoreboard objectives add, and then you can name it um, whatever you want. So I'm just gonna call it sneak for this one, and then you do stat dot walk one centimeter just like that, and then yeah, so sneak successfully. Right now I have it set as walk. So what this does is, um, hold on, I'm just going to make it so you can see it. Um, oh, let's sidebar, then walk. So as you can see on the right over here, it shows um, how far I walked. And as you can see, it keeps getting uh, reset back to zero, so that's what this does. It sets it back to zero, so when you have a clock like this, um, it can basically give you a pretty good indication of how fast you're walking. So if I walk normal speed, as you can see, it's around uh, 20 over here. Yeah, 20 or so. And if I sneak, it goes between 6 and 10, basically, so yeah. So what this does is it, um, this is the command block that, um, what this does is it executes at, um, a player with, uh, a score minimum of 10. So basically if you're going at least like this fast, it, uh, is true. And then if it's true, then it tests for, um, a block of stone with a, um, a tag of 5 which is andesite um, so basically it's just stone with five so yeah um, so basically just test for if the block below you is this and it would be true right now except my speed is not at least ten so if this is true that means you're walking f fast and you're above this block then it uh, triggers this set of command blocks um, you basically only need these two it's just these other ones make it um, go better I guess so this is um, the actual mechanism which makes the block fall and then this is the sound if you didn't hear it um, I'll show you the sound right now so it's that sound so yeah um, when it triggers it uh, does this where it um, executes at you at the player it summons a falling sand uh, one block below you, um, which is stone, which is the andesite, um, yeah, with a time of zero. So, it's like that. It summons a falling sand. So right now, this is a solid block, and then it summons a falling sand with a, so it looks like this. Then also plays the sound. I'll show you if, if you can see it. See, it, it triggers. So, it uh, summons a falling sand, and then this is just play sound, and then this is the name of a sound file. Um, it's iron column dot throw. It sums it at me with uh, these coordinates, and then this is the the minimum sound. So if I made this like that, then you would barely be able to hear it. See, you can barely hear it. So if I make it like 10, it goes a lot higher. So yeah. Um, 
And these command blocks here, here, and here are just the following one. It's just, it's like one uh, game tick later. It, uh, after it powers this, it powers this, that, and that. So basically it makes it more accurate. Um, you actually don't need those. It just makes it seem a lot better. Like this. So yeah, sometimes it doesn't really work because there is a delay. And I've tried um, doing it in different ways. And this seems to be the best. So basically I'll just take away these extra ones. And it's... Uh, it's, it's kind of different, I guess. You don't really need the other ones. It's just... It works a little better. So, um, yeah. So just clock with your setting it back to zero. Test for if you're walking fast and the block below you. And then falling sand and the sound. So this is... Um, so these are the two command blocks. So basically, it, someone's falling sand. And how this works is if you're above air or um, any other block it doesn't actually summon it because the time is zero right there so basically you have to be standing on this for for it to do that yeah so um, this is just the sound as well so one last test so yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure to like and comment down below and if uh, you want to see more content, then make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.